Okay, welcome back to your channel guys. Hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mask order this side. In this video, we are going to discuss the question extract the number from the string and the problem is actually very simple. You can see that I have written a string here. This is the input given to you. Let us say it is S. Now the problem just says that among this string, there are multiple words, right? This is a word, 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 right? Some of them words such as 505797 are totally integer words, right? 5057, all of them are digits. 9 and 7, all of them are digits. Now I have to return the maximum number, maximum number among these numbers, among these numbers, that is 505797, which does not contain the digit 9. So only one number is left. 5057 is the only valid number because 97 contains 9, so I cannot select this number. That's all. If any of such number doesn't exist return minus one that's all you have, all have to do is this how will i do it the algorithm is simple so what will i do i will just let me rub the things here right okay so what will i do i will just keep a pointer here right i will choose an i equals to zero my total string length is n suppose i will keep an i i will run a loop while my i is less than n what will happen now for each word i will run an inner loop suppose my answer is initialized as minus one currently I will say current is equals to zero and I will declare a flag as equals to true in the starting then while my s of i is not equals to any space is not equals to space what will you do if it is a digit so if s of i it is a bracket if s of i is greater than zero greater than equal to zero so be precise and s of i is less than equals to 8 why not 9 because I have to uh, surpass 9 I don't have to take 9 in my current integer and my flag is true and my flag is true what will I do I will say current equals to current multiplied by 10 plus s of i minus 0 right so this number this current will contain the number represented as a word else what will you do else you will say flag equals to false else flag equals to false when this inner loop ends you will also say i plus plus not in the else but after if and else because I have to increment my i whether if block is, gets executed or else block gets, gets executed. If after this what I, what I will say I will say i plus plus to surpass the space I just encounter and then if my flag is true if my flag equals to equals to true then your answer will be equals to max of current answer with the current right at last after the outer loop you can simply return your answer you can simply return your answer. So what will happen? Firstly, flag will turn false on t only, flag will turn false on i only, false here. This will give me the current as 5057 and my answer will be 5057 currently. False in the a only and 9 will give me the false because I have checked the condition for si less than equals to 8. That's all the question is actually very easy so the video is not gonna be long. Okay, so I hope that was clear to you. Let us move to the code now. So as you can see, this is the code I have written. Long long answer equals to minus 1, I initialize cur equal to 0, i equal to 0, n equals to s dot length. Then I will initialize curve equal to zero after before every inner loop. I will initialize flag equals to true. And while the inner loop doesn't finish, that is SI is not equal to uh, space. What will you do? If my flag is true and my number lies between zero and eight, just make that number. And if at last, if my flag is true, then your answer will be updated as soon as, and then you can just compile and run. The code is actually very easy. So I'm not emphasizing upon it. Let us try to submit it as well. It is running fine so thank you for watching hope you like the video and let's meet in the next video till then stay tuned and keep subscribing thank you have a nice day